What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being back for another video. Uh, today I want to take just a few minutes here and show you a quick and easy way or just the proper way to quickly clean a brand new Glock firearm uh, before your first shooting, before your first outing. As you guys know that have followed the channel for quite a while, we do a lot of hunting on the channel and we do a lot of things related to rifles and don't do a whole lot with handguns. So I figured I might start getting into that just a little bit and uh, just going to break this down real quick, show you guys a quick uh, cleaning and lubrication before you take your new Glock out to the range. So what we have here is a brand new unfired Glock 43X MOS. Uh, first things first, I do want to make sure that this weapon is clear. We're going to take the magazine out, lock to the rear. We're going to visually inspect. Uh, it's going to be hard to show you guys here, but you always want to make sure visually inspect the chamber and you want to make sure and physically inspect the chamber so weapon is clear magazine is here and we're going to set the magazine off to the side so and just always double check a few times just in case so first steps first we got a clear firearm here to work with to clean on and now we want to proceed to disassembly of the 43x what you do is just rack this to the rear making sure that it is clear Pull the trigger, release the trigger. You're gonna take your firing hand or your dominant hand. You're gonna form like a C on the back here. And you're just gonna wrap that around, pull it back about an eighth of an inch. And then you'll see these two tabs here, one on each side. You're simply gonna take those, pull them down and the whole slide will fall forward. Take it off just like so. And we'll take the frame, set that off to the side for now. First thing you're going to do is take your spring assembly. You're just going to put a little bit of pressure on the back side there, and that's going to pop right out. And then your barrel will come right after. You got your barrel here. And now you're left with your slide, your barrel, spring assembly, and your frame. This is not going to be too thorough because this is a brand new firearm, and I just want to show what I do and pretty much what Glock recommends before you take this out to the range first. What I like to do is one, just visually inspect, make sure there's nothing that stands out obvious, uh, no large metal shavings. And what I do, and I'll go ahead and mention to you, these being brand new, uh, sitting at home, watching TV, whatever it is, I just sit there a bunch, take the magazine out and just rack the slide back and forth over and over and over because you got brand new parts here matching against each other and there's going to be a lot of friction over time continuous shooting whatnot those parts are going to wear together really nicely but i like to do that and the main thing is because glock sends these out with this hopefully it's going to show up but there's a copper colored uh, lubricant it's like a grease that glock puts in their brand new firearms what I've seen over time, what I've seen other people do, and what I've seen on YouTube, um, people think that they need to get in here and get all that out of the slide. That is not the case. Uh, you want to make sure and leave the, anything in here that is copper colored from the factory. You want to make sure and leave that in there because that's going to work itself in to the metals of the slide and your slide rails right here over time. And that's going to provide longevity of your firearm, of your handgun. So anything in here that's copper colored, I always try to work around it on the initial cleanings and any subsequent cleanings thereafter. Uh, but over time, it's going to eventually work into the metal and you, that's what you want it to do. But we're going to work around anything that's copper colored. You can see it's stuffed in here to your slide rails here on each side. And then you've got some here. So the initial cleaning is not real thorough. I've got some patches here. I've got some q-tips. I've got some um, M-Pro 7 gun cleaner and then I've got some lubricant. Got the cleaning rod that came with the Glock 43X and then I've got a nylon brush that also came with it. Uh, probably won't use any patches today because I don't expect the the barrel to be super dirty shipped from the factory. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply run the bore snake through it a few times and that will take care of the barrel. Like I say, we're not doing anything real thorough here. We're just looking for anything that was kind of out of the ordinary, any large metal shavings um, that was 
you know, shipped that way from the factory or whenever I'm sitting in my recliner, racking that slide back and forth over and over. Uh, we want to make sure and get that out before any initial firing. So run this through a few times. And then we'll move on here. What I like to do is get an old rag, an old t-shirt, get some gun cleaner here, and then we're just going to spray just a little bit on the Q-tip itself because I'm not going to drench the slide in gun cleaner because once again I'm working around any of the copper colored lubrication. So I'm going to take this here, just going to work through, hit on any points that you see that are looking a little bit dirty. Just give it a nice little thorough cleaning. Nothing too fancy for the first one. You can already see there Got some pretty gunked up stuff here. Some knocking off any of the grime, any of the gunk, whatever you want to call it. And we're just going to take that. I will use a patch on the inside of the slide here. Do like to do that. Just a couple patches here. Take that, just work it around in there being careful not to remove any of the copper. Get the breech face. And hopefully you guys can see that there in the lighting that we've left the copper colored stuff there it's on the inside of the rails and that's about it for the slide that I do like I say not a whole lot you want to do or you need to do on this initial cleaning take our rag here this old t-shirt we're just gonna wipe anything off of that should be pretty decent got a little bit there but that's pretty clean And then we'll do the same for the internals on the frame here. We're just gonna knock off any greasy looking stuff. Um, there should be just a little bit of that copper on your slide rails here. You wanna make sure and try to leave that if you can. It's gonna pick back up off of your actual slide uh, once you start working the action again. And even though that copper colored lubricants in there, we will go ahead and add a little bit of our own lubricant once we're done with the quick and easy cleaning here. And one thing that's gonna be hard to pick up here, but I wanna get me a pointer here. But one point you always wanna lubricate and you're gonna actually see some of that factory copper colored uh, lubricant. Hopefully, once again, that's picking up. But right here at the rear of your trigger bar, where it meets the connector, you always want to make sure and lubricate that point right there. That's pretty much all that I lubricate on the internals of the frame. Um, nothing else really to worry about. But you can see a little bit of that copper right there. I'm going to take my lubricant. And we're going to put just one little bead right there. And we're going to take Q-tip and just kind of dab it. You don't want that to be slopping and dripping everywhere in there. So that's good for that. Put the frame to the side. We'll go back to the barrel. Just kind of wipe down the outside of it. Like I say, guys, this is real high level. You'll definitely spend more time once you get done with your first range session or your actual first cleaning after however many rounds you decide to shoot. But this here, 
you always just want to do a quick quick run through on any brand new factory firearm or handgun so we're good on that we're good on the slide what we're going to do is we're just going to take our gun oil we're just going to do one drop on the inside of each rail I kind of let gravity work just a little bit take that we'll set that right there let that oil run down we're gonna take and gonna get our oil take the barrel out we're gonna put just a little bit on the hood we're gonna move that around and then you've got lugs back here and take that and I just like to work that in with my finger get that on the lugs and then put just a little bit here on the hood wipe up any excess and one thing we can do is we'll take the end of our uh, gun oil the pointer here we'll just kind of help that oil get spread in there and then once you put this back together rack it back and forth and then that distributes the oil real nicely uh, we'll take the barrel here and we'll drop that in place and my furnace is kicking on so that's going to get a little bit loud we'll take spring assembly pop that back in take the slide put it back on your frame just like that and like I mentioned just want to work that back and forth once your slides back on just do a function check make sure it locks to the rear releases trigger works good to go like I mentioned there earlier uh, it's hard to show you guys how clean the barrel is now but um, the initial cleanings I don't use the nylon brush or run any uh, patches or jags through it I just simply use the boar snake for the initial cleaning and then definitely after the first range trip and thereafter I'll use the full materials to do the the cleaning on the barrel and your brand new firearm is now ready for the range like I mentioned guys we do a lot of hunting here on the channel a lot of rifle stuff uh, if you guys want to start seeing a little bit more handgun pistol stuff make sure and comment down below let me know as always appreciate you guys being here comment down below if you have any questions happy hunting be safe we'll see you on the next one bye